The episode being called Rival could mean a number of things to me. It could be just the fact that Nekoma versus Karasuno's rivals. It could be Kenma versus Kagayama. It could be Hinata versus this guy who's been blocking him. There's so many potential rivals that I'm just going to... I have no idea. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Q, episode 13 of season 1. Last episode, we had... A good immediate start, but once Nekomo was able to uh, adapt and analyze the situation in which they were losing, they were quickly able to remove Hinata from the equation, and then they ended up winning the first set. But at the end, Hinata was like, I'm going to power through this. I'm going to find a new way to to innovate my attacks. And he came up with a new, like, like fucking curveball. I don't know. I don't. They're going to explain that to me. I'm pretty sure they are, because that's literally how it ended. But I'm very excited. I'm the show gets me hyped like none other it is insane remember guys if you guys want to support the channel and get early access and full length to the current shows i'm watching and or all the shows i've watched in the past check out that patreon down below if patreon's not really your style and you still want to support me a like and a very nice comment goes so far and if you guys aren't subscribed please subscribe and join that notification gang don't forget to follow me on twitch and on twitter for the updates and for the streams let's hop into this though Haikyuu, episode 13, called Rival. Good block! Again with the fucking receive though, these guys are insane. Yeah. Good shit, Yamamoto. Yamamoto's the race? I didn't realize that. They'll become a pair of demons. That's what Oni means, right? Demon? Or am I crazy? Maintain a broad perspective. Taking that advice. Your guy's sneaking around on the side. Yeah. What do you... Oh. That broad perspective. Shouts out Daichi. Nice touch. And he bolts. <laughs> Man, he's quick. They do. Shouts at Inoika. I love the pairing matches on each team. Rivals, that's what I was saying. It's the team, it's the players, it's everything. Ah, these guys are so determined. I love it. Oh. Kuro, right? Stick to what we know. Yeah, okay. Hey. I was about to say, I respect Kageyama's intuition. He has a lot of... It was, in my opinion. I agree. I was going to say, against someone who hasn't personally experienced it and gotten used to it, it just seems like the normal quick set would just be a better initial attack. Yeah, there's like seven people jumping right here. A back row attack? Yeah, so they're all going to go down. It's a free spike. Oh, my. Into Hanacha's face. So they have their own quick attack. Interesting. They like delayed it. They're so well at adapting to our fucking strategies. It's insane. Yeah, it's like a pump fake in basketball. He's literally just pump fake the fuck out of them. Team is level one. Their team is level 10 or 20. Hey, we'll mature. It's all good. Yeah, Cat beats Raven and Crow in this situation, but, you know, we'll mature. Oh, those things are so sneaky. Nice try, Nishinoya. Kenma did that last set, too. That shit is sneaky. Oh! 
Oh, the third double fucking decoy fake out triple spike attack. What's a deuce? 24 24. We'll have a chance. Okay, is it just like match point? That's called a deuce, though. That's good to know. So go with what you know. Go with something solid. Asahi are ace. You got to rely on them. That was a nice receive, though. Oh. Oh. His aura, his nen. His nen is popping off. He's got that Hasu coming out. I love this show, bro. I got chills right now. Come on, do your fucking snipe. Snipe it, direct it, curveball. Boom. Oh my god. Okay, that's still our point, right? Oh, Kenma. These guys are insane. This has got to be the fucking greatest volley I've ever seen. Oh. That's it. That's game. I like that, though. I like that we lost. That sounds weird, but Ukai was 100% right. We should have lost this, so... I like that, to be honest. We need to mature as a team. They're a real team. That is facts. They're a team. I respect Ukai, too, because he gives he's so analytical and he's so observant. He's so respectful. He said one more. One more practice match? One more set? They don't need to show us this one, but it's just cool that they played all day, you know? Oh, we lost every game. Well, we did take into overtime a few times, but we lost every game. That is true. The cat looking for that that crow. For an opposing team's coach to say this to, like, you know, it's it's a lot of motivation. It's a lot of inspiration. Hell yeah. I'll see you there. I'll see you there, Nekomata. Battle at the garbage dump. Hell yeah. Yamamoto and Tanaka, the rival. City boy, come on. Kyoko. What the fuck is this? If there's one thing these fucking dingleberries are going to relate on, it's women, of course. So... <laughs> these guys are hilarious. Yamamoto, Takatora, Takeda, or Tanaka Ryunosuke. Oh yeah. <laughs> he just runs away. <laughs> I see every these teams have their own individual rivalries and the teams are rivals. I love this. You're like, wow, I'm kaboom! <laughs> yeah, just don't look back at him. Fucking Karasuno is just a team full of weirdos. Oh, shouts out Nishinoya. Coming from coming from Nishinoya, you know. No, it means a lot. Libero to Libero. That's fucking fire. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's facts. That's straight facts. That <laughs> Ishinoya really is that guy. Because they're city boys. So technically, they're. I remember they're from Tokyo, right? Or they represented Tokyo in the nationals when they were talking about the past. 
やって一節とも取れないとかね次は絶対ストレート勝ちしてみせますよハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ So you, yeah. So you have passion involved, you know. I really like Kenma's character. I really, I like. I genuinely, really, really, really like you know、uh, Nekoma as a team and as a school. Colors, outfits, rivalries. Like, look at this. No outro. This is our outro right here. This is fire. This is fire. Enter high preliminaries. Good, good VOD review. Hell yeah, we're in there. That's the thumbnail right there. Nothing else could be that. That's the, what? That was fire. Can't watch the preview. I know I had to have said it at least 15 times throughout this episode, but I am just such a fan of Nekoma's school, of their team, and the rivalry. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, but like, Rival, the title being that, could easily mean team versus team. Hinata versus Inoika.、Um, Ukai versus his old friend. Ukai versus Nekomata. Could be、uh, Yamamoto versus Tanaka. Could be Takeda versus the guy who was apologizing to Asahi. You know, it could be fucking Kuro versus Daichi. Kenma Hinata. Kenma Kagayama. Like, there's so many rival. Fucking, I didn't know this, the Libero for their team's name, but I really liked him too, especially. Nishinoya shouting him out like he's never seen a liberal like that, and then him saying, Wow, for somebody who's as good as Nishinoya to not be arrogant and to only seek to improve and to humble himself is like they're just both teams have a certain level of respect for each other now that you don't get unless you have this bonding or have this experience of playing and going through these kind of things with them. Like it's just, you know, like it's insane. Like I've never. I, I mean, I've played sports as a kid, you know, and I'm never truly in depth where I'm taking as much time and effort as these kids are. This is like their, these are their dreams. These are their, these are what they want to do, you know? So, like, I've just never, it's always been a you shake that maybe, and maybe it's more of a Japanese thing, you know? I like, cause they, when it comes to their games, you know, they graciously appreciate taking the time out of their day to play them in a match. They, you know, the, the setting, everything, they, there's very much more appreciative of everything. Whereas in America, you don't even, Make contact with the other team at all, at least until the end, where you give them like a quick high five, quick handshake, and you walk off. You know, like even if you lose, if you're pissed, if something bad happened, you know, you sometimes, like, if you really disrespect, I don't, because you know, emotions take over, but you, you know, you don't even do that sometimes. So it's just、uh, the consideration these guys put in for their opponents, technically, when you think about it like that, is just, it's just crazy. And it it blows my my hair back sometimes, you know, like. Crazy, and I love both teams. I love Yamamoto, especially.、Um, I don't know, man. I just think this is gonna be, and, that, and that's one thing that I love about this show. And I've said it episodes before is that this is literally this could easily be a show just based on the rivalry between Nekoma and Karasuno if they wanted to be not as expansive as they are. It wouldn't be as realistic because there's multiple high schools, multiple teams coming into these nationals and preliminaries and stuff. But I could easily see them just narrowing it down on this because they already have a fantastic bunch of characters on both teams. But then I'll be like, holy shit, we already got the Alba Joe side team. Well, we already have other relations, other things that our characters relate, you know, like that's、oh, the supporting cast in this show is so fantastic because it's like the real life people. Like in certain shows and certain animes, You can't really avoid that supporting cast. You need to bring them back for the characters to feel like they are invested, to feel like they care about these people. But when it like, I haven't seen Oikawa in fucking six episodes or whatever, but I still miss the fucking guy. You know, like,、uh, Kendaichi, is that Kagayama's friend? Like, there's so, like, but then when we go see another team, when we go somebody else, I'm gonna be missing the fuck out of Nekoma and still Albert. Like, these are real life fucking people. Like, it's crazy. The world building is just insane.
With that being said, though, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Please comment something nice down below. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Join that notification gang. If you guys want early access to the next bunch of episodes, check out that Patreon. Follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.